Alright, so it's gonna go through its own little thing. Alright, so. Hi! Welcome again! Huh, so everything's working now. Do you actually see the replay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, we just got done with the Ubisoft conference, uh, the Ubisoft media briefing. And we saw also, at the end of it, 20 minutes worth of gameplay footage from Assassin's Creed Unity, which we will get into in a little bit. <coughs> but first things first, we want to hop into talking about the first game that dropped all of our jaws a little bit and made us question our moral judgment. And that is, in fact, Rabbids and the Switch are coming side by side. And uh, they're coming together, which is really cool. Really cool. Um, it's called Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Uh, coming to coming to the Switch. Coming to the Switch. And it's a tactical battle. Uh, the Rabbids have basically been teleported to the Mushroom Kingdom. And it's caused some stability. And Mario, being the white guy who's like, What? What's going on? I'll help out. And he decide, and some of the rabbits are dressed as Mario characters, as we see the rabbits on screen now. And they have to fight the bad rabbits. The thing about this game is, all my all my people who watch my streams know, this is motherfucking XCOM. This is a tactical. This is definitely a tactical battle game. This is XCOM for kids, and that's how it should be marketed by every game journalist. Journalist, it's XCOM for kids. It is awesome. I now want a Switch so I can play this because I can probably beat this game, but I can't beat XCOM. There, there's just no way. There's just no way. Uh, as much as I want to, as much as I would try, it's just not possible. Uh, so it's awesome. Uh, different characters, even Yoshi, even Princess Peach, and also coming in with different weapons. One of the cool things about this is it uses a jump function where if I'm over here on this square and then Mario is all the way in the back and then I need to get all the way over there uh, to tr try and get behind someone, I need to jump over. Sorry, one sec. No. I need to jump over and it uses jump function where you can jump, have your team, have your character teammate help you jump to a farther square. Why can't I have that in XCOM where I run where I run to someone and just hey let me boost you up just huh, just boost up and land some other faraway place behind the enemy. Can I have that please? Please? 2K? Come on, help me out. I need leverage to help me because I suck at this game. <laughs> Point blank RNG, that's right. So also remember that if it's just like XCOM, when you have the blaster straight into the person's face, it's still a 99% chance of missing. Or, I'm sorry, it's a 1% chance of missing. Point blank range. So, it's, you're going to miss the shot. You're going to miss it. Yeah, so it's too funny. But it's awesome because it brings in the annoying rabbits that we all know, that we all remember from back in the day. And it brings in to Mario. It's, a, it's literally the kids' version of XCOM 2. And I'm not saying no to that. My cousins have it, my cousins have it and I really want to play with them now. <coughs> uh, next, they show Assassin's Creed Origins. Uh, what was really annoying was they showed us gameplay on TV through a video camera. But of course they did promise that we would show footage uh, at the end of the conference, about 30 minutes worth, so there's actually more stuff going on. And since I'm already on the subject of Assassin's Creed, let's talk about what we saw the 20 minutes that we that we watched it. <laughs> uh, so Assassin's Creed Origin gameplay footage that we saw. Uh, really some neat notes was the skill trees. The skill trees is actually broken down into a graph. It's broken down into Hunter, which is more for the stealthy assassin. Uh, the Warrior, which is more for the hands-on fight capabilities. And then Seer, which is there to manipulate people and also animals. Uh, so it's branched into these into this graph system that you can really make your own assassin. And that's what they said. You can make your own assassin. And so it's not like you have to unlock this to get to this. Like, well, kind of like that. But you can still branch off into different things. And it looks really interesting. And I honestly feel like not everybody is going to have the same kind of assassin. At least I hope not. Uh, so, and then, let's see here. Uh, gear and items are important. 
It's a leveling system, so if you're like level 20 and the enemy's level 25, you're gonna have a bad time. You need to uh, take a step back and level up your gear, level up your tune, in order to get there to where you can actually fight everything. It's not gonna be something you can walk into, walk into a bad area and all of a sudden ruffle stomp it. You're gonna get ruffle stomped, and they showed that in the stream as well. And then. Uh, one of the cool things, you can go underwater, you can explore it. They kill the hippo, which is really PETA-ish. Uh, PETA's going to have to get on them. Uh, so they said that it's about eight different types of melee weapons, four different types of bows where it has different attributes and stuff, uh, and much more. And then, one cool thing, you can set a boat on fire. The landscape that we saw here is, wow, it's just huge. It's a huge open world. And I really can't wait to jump into it. I'm, I, I am actually excited for an Assassin's Creed game. Because I also like my, uh, you know, I like my Egyptian lore. I can't wait. Because also the gameplay, show, the cinematic trailer that they showed, I think we saw Anubis. I think we saw Anubis. Hmm. Next, uh, they talked about The Crew 2. Where it's expanding to F1 cars, dirt biking, street racing, boat racing. Um... Uh, prop planes racing like good god it's all all the racing things rolled into one game so if you ever get bored with one you can always just switch to the other apparently so it is the na it's the moto nation the home of the moto nation where anything motorized it's in that game and you can race it and get no and get notoriety cr racing <laughs> <coughs> uh, have you played any encampment missions on Far Cry? No, the gameplay they show is basically that. Oh, okay. Hmm. Uh, next, they they show us another trailer of South Park The Fractured But Whole coming out on October 17th. That's it. Come on. Like, I, I would like to hear... I'm, and now I'm going to be one of those people... And I want to hear from the developer why it took so long that this game came out. What were the issues going about? Like, I, I want to, I am really intuitive on why we waited almost half a year of pushing this game back to finally get it. Maybe even not even half, we're actually like a full year going. We finally get the game, though. Well, it's coming October 17th, but no other information is really needed because we already know everything about the game. We just need it out now. We want it now. Next, they gave a little teaser for a new VR game coming out in spring 2018 where it's from SpectreVision from creative director Elijah Wood, which I feel like that was actually part of the game, or was it? And the game is called Transference, where it looks like a game of being mind effed, and that's a lot of mind eff. That's a lot going on. Uh, next, oh man, I am super excited about it because it's Sea of Thieves. But for adults, it's a new pirate game coming from Ubisoft called Skull and Bones, where uh, it's a tactical Navy combat game. So the players, for all the players who played Assassin's Creed Black Flag, the pirating system that they created in Black Flag has now been created into its own separate amazing pirate game. And that's what we have in Skull and Bones. Um, what they, the, uh, the video that they showed us was a 5v5 PvP map called The Loot Hunt where uh, the players have to take out these ships, grab the loot, and try to escape. And it's a progression game, because as more ships came out, it got a little bit harder, it got a little bit harder. And then finally, the Spanish warships, ah, oh, the Man of Wars came out, and, once, and, they, and they chased down the pirates who have the most gold. Woo, but, oh my god, it's so cool. Oh, I really want this game. Really, 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 really want it. Uh, yeah, pirate hunters target the ships with the most loot. And before the developers, before the, uh, the creative director left the stage, he had this to say. When you react, the game reacts. And it brought us into a small, short cinematic showing some tentacles coming from the ship, coming from the sea. I don't know. But it's, you can play the game solo or you can play the game via online with friends. Whew. Yeah, man. I'm, uh, 2018, Year of the Pirates. I'm calling it. Uh, next, uh, they showed us, uh, Dan Just Dance 18, uh, where we saw Sub-Zero and Scorpion, uh, and Smoke. 
Uh, they kind of took some time off from the Lin Kuei and came out and did some dance moves, which was really cool. Uh, Just Dance 18 is also going to be introducing K-Pop. K-Pop is coming to the game, and we'll be seeing this in October of this year. <coughs> uh, <laughs> Black Flag 2, Prince of Persia Origins, nice. Very nice. Now, I was so hyped about this, I completely... I completely missed the name of it, and so if anyone in chat knows the name of it, please tell me. A new South Park mobile game, where it, just, it starts off just like uh, the Stick of Truth. It starts off just like the Fractured But Whole. It starts off with Cartman in a costume. Hey, new kid. New kid, come on. We need to... We, we're going to play a game. Cowboys and Ninjas versus Angels versus Cops versus... Oh, it's called Phone Destroyer. Okay. Phone Destroyer, cool. New mobile game, Soft Park Phone Destroyer. It's it feels like a it's a card based game, but it's I don't even know it. Fuck it, I don't even know. I just want to play it. Just can I go on my phone right now? Is it is it downloadable now? Is it out? I need to know when this game. I need it now. I need it. It's South Park. I need it, and it sucks now because South Park's not gonna be on my phone, and it's that there, there goes away my entire workday. There goes there is there it goes. I already played Yu-Gi-Oh! Now I'm just going to have to stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and play this. Ugh. Don't know what to do with myself anymore. Alright. Uh, next game that I got come... It was it was hype after hype after hype. And... Ugh. The next game, Starlink Battle for Atlas. Fudge! It is... Mm. It has collectible... Star, physical collectible starships that you can put on top of your controller. PlayStation, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. It comes with its own peripheral that you slide onto your controller. You put your ship on there. You put your guy on there. And you just create your own custom ship from physical, from the physical items all the way up to your in-game items. And create your own starship and go out there and just have an adventure. It was... Awesome. It's so awesome. And it's a massive open living star system. Uh, it's coming to consoles this uh, fall of 2018. So that's a game that need, I need to actually make a list of all these games that I'm like super hyped about. And just like, I need to remember these. I need to remember looking at them. Hey, Vagenda. He. Uh, next game that I talked about was a new expansion for Steep, which is basically all the snow sports. And this is going for, uh, this is centered around the Winter Olympics, and which is actually the official Olympic game. Uh, official Olympic, uh, basically part of the official Olympic Games. Officially licensed. Isn't that neat? So, yeah, so Steep, the new expansion, Road to the Olympics. If you're into that kind of thing, I hope it works out for you. The Ice Water, the Ice Water Sports Games, yes. That's exactly it. Uh, let's see. Oh, the big game for next year. Far Cry 5. A.K.A. The Game That Offends America. Hmm. I tell you what. Stereotypes are kind of true. Stereotypes are there for a reason. Just saying. At the same time, it's centered in the country, the country part of Montana. Nothing really happens in Montana. That's why this is set in Montana. That's exactly why. So, in Far Cry 5, you are in cult country. You have the town folks that are, and quoted, they are fucking scared. So, you and your guns for hire need to save it, gather some townsfolk to help you out, and they showed in-game footage. And the in-game footage was cool. You tell your partner where to set up. It's, she's a sniper, gun for hire. She goes over there and sets and, and does her thing. You basically get in position and you just start unloading. Mm -hmm. Boom, 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 boom. Bang, 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 bang. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing is we have a puppy. There's a puppy. Oh, Baxter's calling it. Even though I don't have Skype open. He'll be fine. As my phone still vibrates. Yeah, he'll be fine. 
Maybe it'll open up before I. Oh, I hung up. No, didn't hung up. Uh, not right now. <coughs> I guess I need to go ahead and open up. Whatever. Yes. Steven? Interrupting a live broadcast. I tell you what. I don't think he has his mic plugged in. Because I'm plugged in. Poor guy. <laughs> He'll probably yell in just a moment. So, Far Cry, the dog, get you a gun. Love the dog. Love the puppy. Dogs are great. Dogs are better than humans. Uh, the next game that they introduced was Beyond Good and Evil 2. Now, I've actually never played the first Beyond Good and Evil. Honestly, it actually went a lot, it went under my radar. I've never, it, it was like years and years after it was released, I actually heard about it. And I was like, I don't know what that is, I don't, I don't care. I always saw it at GameStop, it was like, this looks weird. And I just put it back down. Uh, but it's coming with a sequel that people are apparently really happy about. My friend Christina was like really, really happy for it. And it basically starts out with a monkey with an attitude and some foul language. Bad monkey. Bad monkey. And then... And it's basically the story takes place before the birth of Jade. Whatever that means. And it will introduce massive starships and also massive planets. Uh, and, yeah. So you can also find them on Twitter. Uh, I think you can join the Space Monkey Project. Uh, you and head over to Twitter and I'll go over to bgegame.com. That's their Twitter handle. And that's it. I mean, and then they. That's it? That was it. That's all we get? That's all you got. I showed up right at the end. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. My bad about the sound thing. I don't know what happened there for a second, but I'm back and I'm here. I am pretty sure, I am pretty sure you were just yelling all the obscenities, yes, smashing right. your fists on your keyboard. Uh, well, I have a glass desk, so I, I, I just kind of yell. Uh, but, uh, let's, let's start watching the Ubisoft. Let's do it. What's, what's up with that? It's done. What? 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 No. Bitch, I'm done. <laughs> Uh, anything okay? So I know you probably exactly just talked about it. But uh -huh. any, anything that you think I would be interested? In? I haven't seen any of it yet. But it work. Well, let me tell you, you're probably oh. interested in the new South Park game, Fractured Butthole. Oh no, it's the Fractured Butthole. Yeah, Fractured Butthole. Fractured butt, but also hole. No, butthole. Yeah, Fractured Butthole. Oh, gotcha. Okay, sweet. Is it actually coming out this year? They're pushing it back again. October seventeenth. Uh, I hope so. Me too. Uh, there is also a new game for the Switch. Oh, sweet. It's called Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom oh. Battle. Oh, you mean like the the worst kept secret this year? <laughs> uh, well, I've never heard of it, but it's basically oh, it's XCOM, was... but Mario. Wow. Yeah, that was on the internet like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Never heard of it. Uh, so I, I, I don't I trust really, the internet. I, I just randomly saw it. I tried to call you earlier, and then I was like, wait a minute, he's probably doing this, and you ignore my call. Uh, yeah, because so, I was like, doing this. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to jump, I'm just going to call him on Skype see if he answers. <laughs> 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 so anything else out of Ubisoft? Is anything... uh, Just Dance 8 2018 coming out this October as well. Do I look like I play Just Dance? <laughs> well, it's pretty cool because Sub-Zero and Scorpion came on and did some dance moves. It was a three-man dance crew, and they had they were wearing the actual masks of Sub Zero and Scorpion. Heavens! Yeah, as soon as they popped out, I'm like, oh, looky there, the Lin Kuei got a little dance crew. Nice. Uh, and then of course, Far Cry Five. 
Uh, did it show gameplay? Yes. Oh, I gotta watch that. I can't wait for that. I love games that go against the political statements of the era. Yeah, it's so it's so it looks so good. I'm really, uh, I'm really excited. And then South Park is releasing a new mobile game. Oh, something else to fucking... Sorry. Yep. South Park take, Phone Destroyer. So I take even longer boots that work now. Sweet. Yeah, this is... this. The game starts off with Eric Cartman dressed as a cowboy. Hey, new kid. We're gonna go out and play a game. <laughs> like how every South Park game now starts off. That's right. That's okay. I mean, I'm technically Cartman myself, so... I, I yes. Wanna... I like. I really hate to say that because he's like, "Why am I such an asshole?" But every episode I watch, it's like I've said or done this or something similar. Yes. In all his action, and, and like if I'm watching it with Heather, it'll happen, and she'll shoot her eyes back at me like, "That's you." <laughs> so. It's very true. Uh, uh, all right. So when, when's the release date for that? I don't know. I was uh, just. I was. I was too overhyped. To remember what the name of the game was, I don't even know if they even showed a release date. I might have to go back and look at my footage as well because I'm like, I was super hyped for it. I'm like, no, please, no. Oh my god, it's gonna be so cool. <laughs> and then there is a new, there's a new game, uh, new IP called Starlink Battle for Atlas that your that Heather is gonna be really pissed about. What is that? So I don't want to buy. Yep, because it has physical starship collectibles oh, that you can place shit. onto that you can place onto your controllers, and it comes with its own peripheral to put on your controller. Coming oh. out for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation Four, and Xbox One. The parts of the ships are interchangeable, so you can make your own custom uh. ship. So you make your own custom ship physically, and you can also grab items in game. She's gonna love that. What's the gameplay like? <laughs> it looked good. I mean, is it like ship to ship combat? It's ship to ship combat. Okay. It's it's basically an adventure game. It's a it's and their words again, massive open living star system. Jeez, let's check that out. I gotta watch this. All right. Oh yeah, All Ubisoft right. blew it out the park with this with this uh, thing. The only thing I didn't like was steep. Uh, this new steep expansion called uh, Road to the Olympics. It's again another sports game. Sweet. Uh, so, but at the end of the conference, they did show twenty. They, they're actually showing thirty minutes of Assassin's Creed gameplay. <coughs> oh, well, that's fun. Oh yeah, skill trees are completely different. It's more into a graph and not an actual tree. Uh, you have to level. You have to get good gear. Because if you don't get good gear. You're gonna suck trying to kill people. Get good. Get good. Uh, and they set, they killed a hippo on the stream, and they set this ship on fire. Nice. All right, I'll take it. Yep. Oh, and also a new VR game starring Elijah Wood. Uh, what was it about? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I. You will have to just watch the video. Okay. All right. Sweet. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to the PlayStation Experience at my local movie theater. I might, I might, I might go live on the X uh, on on the Nota channel maybe if they let me. If they let me, you know, I'm in the theater, so chances are they'd be like, "Bitch, will kill you if you turn that on." Uh, well, I most likely, that, yeah. Like, I talked uh, like. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because we're the nerds of the apocalypse, we happen to be good friends with our local Sony rep, you know, because we got it like that. And uh, <laughs> and I talked to him, and I believe what he said was once the doors are closed, they don't open again. So I think once the thing starts, they don't let anybody in. So whatever that means. So I don't know. It's like, we'll see. And I don't know what swag I'm supposed to get, so I'll get some swag. So hopefully I can, I know, hopefully I can record a little bit. Or go live for a little while, so watch out for that. Watch out for that. It'll be on the Nerds of the Apocalypse Facebook channel. So if you haven't liked us, please go like us on that page and then wait for me to go live if I go live. I probably will. At some point, I plan to go live whether they want me to or not. <laughs> so. See if you can get, see if you can, you can get like an extra swag back for me. 
Uh, let's do what I can do. I mean, I'm, I mean, it's in three hours, so I mean, I'm I'm trying to decide if I really want to get uh, actual dressed up and walk out the door. Oh, you haven't made your mind up yet. Oh, I have not. Fun. It's been it's been tempting because I mean, if if our boy says like, I still have to buy a ticket though, don't I? No, they weren't. They were free tickets anyway. Oh, okay, okay. But but there is going to be a line for people who don't have tickets. So you have to go a little early. So which means like at the end of this, you'd have to get ready and go like right away. So I do have to buy a ticket. No. But I have to get. I have to stay in line just to get the ticket. No, the the people that don't have tickets wait in line, and then once all the ticket holders, I think like thirty minutes, they open it up for people who are in line to fill up the rest of the seats. What? That's insane. Yeah. Uh, it's just zero emission. <laughs> I'm just telling you, yeah, no, I'm just telling you what he said. Well, they let the people who have tickets go in first. That's essentially what you do when you when you got a ticket online. You got a ticket to go in first to guarantee yourself a seat. Ah. You don't have a ticket, you're not guaranteed. But because we're tight with our local Sony rep, you might, you could probably get in. I'm just saying. Oh, man. Oh, uh, Raph Prime confirmed. Trex is getting jelly of Stevie B right now. Hashtag truth. It's not jelly. I told him to talk to him. You didn't even remember his name. I did remember. Don't say that shit on my. I, <laughs> I might have had a momentary lapse of, oh yeah. Uh, come on, man. I'm dumb. You know I'm dumb. Come on. <laughs> so either we're gonna, either we'll be, uh, I'll be here over on Twitch, or I'll be at the movie theater on Facebook or whatever. Or I'll go over to Stevie B's place, and we'll just do it there. I don't know yet. Yes. Fuck it, we'll do it live! <laughs> but uh, we will be back for the Sony conference at nine, starting at 9 p.m. Eastern uh, here on Twitch, of course. Or go to your local movie theater if you're going to do it. So uh, we'll see what Sony brings to the table. Because so far, when it comes to the game developers, Ubisoft, Bethesda, EA. Let's see what the consoles are going to bring to the table. Because so far, Microsoft has is number one. Well, at the same time, they're the only one who went, went so far. And I'm not really putting much faith in Nintendo at this point. Uh, so, let's find out and see between Microsoft and Sony who has the better press conference. We'll see you guys later tonight. You going to say bye? Oh, bye guys. Mwah.